it's ready for a second wave of a second attack, I guess. I don't know. Down here with the assault. Oh, another card and another card. We'll see how we can hold out. We did pretty good last time. Uh, morale still topped out because we have no casualties. Intelligence still needs to be done. We will place a leader. He wants to go, either he's going to go on area five, so we're getting a leader down in there. He'll go down to lead area five, which is right here, so they'll push him up. Oh, uh, there's a leader there, so this will not come into effect. Bob wire hasn't really stopped anybody in my games. So that will move him up into the bow bar spot. Him up, a leader behind him, and a leader behind a leader. There's where you're going. He's pushing them on up. They passed up the wire clippers and made short work of that barbed wire. All right, now for the next card. Place area one, a rifleman. All right, he's going for area one. So we'll move him on up. Let's see here. He got knocked out. So we'll move him on up. Him on up. Him on up. And place him. And they won't get no closer. All right. Next, last but not least. Oh, area one again. Another rifleman. They're pushing on up in that area one. So he'll come up to our doorstep. Up. Up. Up and up. Okay, I'm missing a grenade. And I don't think anybody's taken out our grenades yet. Or else we would have rolled against them. So, we forgot a grenade. We forgot a booby trap. Because I know nobody's went through there yet. So there you go. You know what? There's another grenade too that we forgot to put up in there. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. And I'm pretty sure that it did say you can redo your booby trap. So I'll go over there and make sure. But that will take care of everybody. Alright. Go check on that booby trap rule. Johnny, we forgot in the break and I think it was a 30 minute break the first attack well, let's, start, let's check that out here real quick alright oh when did this attack start and everything else oh we'll pause it began around 11 o'clock so the first one started at 10.30 it was over within 15 minutes I guess because they had time to get back there and uh, redo the barbed wire and everything let me see here uh, ending attack periods, remove all morale tokens, flip over defender open, place all attacker assault counters and radio tokens back in supply, leave defenders weapons. Oh, attack two setups. If the fence is broken, remove from the board, place fence tokens back on the board. Place springer for the lava. Doesn't say anything. Hold on about the uh, place pencils. Doesn't say anything about booby traps. Uh, you may just redistribute. Choose to flip each weapon counter that's in place. Huh, well, move ammunition. Maybe that's why I didn't have those in there. All right, well, it says attack periods two to four, ending attack periods. Yep. Disrupted tokens. I don't see anything in here, so we're gonna take those back off. Which one was that again? I'll have to be I'll have to do the old rewind. But yeah, it only says fence tokens were removed from the board and previous place the fence tokens back on the board. Alright. I don't see anything about it. Alright, that's it. We will take those back. Uh we are back. All right, then. It says nothing about uh, redoing the booby trap, so I re removed the grenades. We're back to where we started. All right, it took care of their uh, movement. We have R5, and so far, so good. I'm not seeing anything. We definitely got to do something there, but our, our uh, machine gunners are both exhausted. Do we take advantage now and get them all flipped over? Or wait till you have more units to flip over and not waste that command uh, decision to unexhaust everybody. Uh, let me see what we need to do here. We need to fire away. 
What are we firing with? Oh. 1d8. And we gotta beat a 3. Old Krieger. Alright, Krieger. Let's see what that, uh. Oh, defense actions. Exhaust defenders. I think they got a card here for. Uh, attacker actions for attributes, so I don't have to go through that goofy. Inspire. Star. Oh, that's a star. Oh, yeah, he's got a star. Oh, I see what's going on. Well, what's, what's the deal there? Well, you better go to the book. <laughs> better go to the book. Hold off, we'll be right back. All right, he can inspire all defenders, him and Slopes. That's the best sign you have up there. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was going to stay long. All right, we'll move this. we got a little bit of room problem here. This ain't like the big table. We'll put that over there. We will go on with Krager. He's going to fire, but that's going to be a oh, attack. That'll exhaust him. All right, he rolled one D8. So we're over here grabbing our D8. And uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to put a marker on him, too, after we're done. We'll put the marker on him right away. Oh, Krager. All right, Inspire. That fun one's inspired you, blah, 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 blah. An additional die. All right, so we get another D8. All right, we gotta beat a three. Easy come, easy go, he's done with. So much for him. Rifle is done. Krager is exhausted. All right, next up will be McConnell. No, two more D8s. We can't fire at the leader. He's down in that little hole. So we have to go for a rifleman. This will hit to be a five because it goes up one every shot. We will roll two dice because he will be inspired by Bullock. And we got to beat a, beat a five for the rifleman. All right, we get that one done. He is gone. Take another marker here. McConnell. Exhausted. <laughs> From shooting that gun. There you go. That's how that works. All right. Looking around. Looking around. I like shooting these guns. But. Let's see if we can't place us a. Oh. Let me see. The fence does not exhaust. Radio artillery. We'll place one of them. So get one of these markers here. Place it on this. He will get a marker. All right. Now I want to do me a intelligence. So we'll give him a marker here. Give us another intelligence marker. There we go. We got one left. Give me some house cleaner. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right. For our final action, we're going to use our M1919. Does it have ammo in it? It sure does. We could squirt, squeeze off a bunch of rounds. M1919. We will place the marker on Milosevic. And he will roll 1d8. But Redmond's there to inspire. So he will get a, another die. He's rolling two dice. And he will be shooting at... Oh... This old rifleman here, we want to get this line going down here. We can't fire at him, he's in depression. We're firing at him, but we got to pay another plus one on our die roll. So uh, we're looking for a four from the four spot, rolling two dice, two d8s. There's our two d8s. Looking for a five for this rifleman in area four. Because again, we got to cross that one line when we fire. So he's a little bit further ranged. I think we'll be all right. Looking for a five. Like two dice. A one and a seven, yes. The rifleman is history. Oop. Well, I'll get that later. All right, but that will squeeze off one of these from the M1919. 
Put that back over here. All right, we can shoot off again. We'll go for the next one here. Five plus one on this, plus another one because it's our third shot. So we have five, six, seven, seven or higher. We'll roll. We'll squeeze off two rounds, two of these. So it'll be two dice. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it, right? Yeah. One, two, yeah. One die, two dice. We'll add a third for our inspired leader. Maximum three. One, two, squeezing off those rounds. And then we'll have a, well, what we got here? One for his D8, one for Redmond. And then we're gonna use another one here. All right. So you got two dice where two rounds are expended. And uh, one for uh, Redmond's inspiration. Now, after this roll, if we hit a one, it overheats the gun. Our number to hit is five, six, seven, or above. Five because the area, plus one, and plus one because it's our second shot, so that's six, seven. We can put a seven with three dice. We got it all over the place. So this area leader, where are we shooting at? We're shooting at here, yeah. Got the leader. Got the leader. All right, we'll put the leader back here. Oh, who's falling down here, rifleman? Uh, oh, and like I said, um, I signed up for that uh, Dragon's Convention, and that looks really good. I'm, I'm, oh, I better remember what I'm doing here. These two go back. Before I can start off on, a, go off on my rant. Hold on a second, because I got some good stuff to talk about. Um, let me take a little break. Be right back. All right. Well, we still got a couple more shots. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. It'll be uh, six, seven, eight, nine. We got to go with him. We can roll two dice and a third one for Redmond. So we will roll three dice. One, two, three. Oh, ammunition for the M19, M19, one, two. Oh, one die for one. One die for two. And then our inspiration die for Redmond. We'll be shooting at our other leader. We get the six. Seven, eight, nine. So, uh, I don't know, is it a nine or ten? We got to beat. Uh, we'll be right back. All right, we got to remember it's equal to in this game. So, nine or above. We're going three dice. If I get a one, it malfunctions the gun. For the rest of the game. Oh, no. All right, we didn't do it. So, this guy, uh, what do we do here with this malfunction? I have to find, I think you just remove it from the game, but there you go. We got greedy. We didn't take them out either. They're all low die rolls. Uh, no good, no good. Okay, well, he is exhausted. He well, well should be. He did a, he did a good job with Milosevic. But how will we do here with the... Oh, just a fire. Roll one six-sided die for each ammunition token used beyond the first three. If you roll one... On any of the die, the weapon overheats and remove it from the game. So this one here is gone. I want to look at over that what I just read because I think I might have did that wrong. We'll take this out of the game. It'll be put right here. What does that say? If you use more than three ammunition turquins during an adjust, the weapon might overheat. After completing this fire action, roll all oh, roll one six-sided dice for each ammunition token used beyond the first three. If you roll one on any of dice, we might have did that wrong, but we'll take what we did here. We'll do it that way from now on. I, it's still not too clear. So anything over three ammunition tokens, I guess, during a fire adjustment action, the weapon might overheat after completing the adjust fire action. Roll one six-sided dice for each ammunition token beyond the first three. So we did a bunch of them. We did one, two. Three, four, five. We should have rolled a couple times four. But we'll right. It's it's a it's it's melted. <laughs> we melted that sucker down. Wow. All right. That is it for my uh, 
tokens. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Uh, get this a little bit cleaned up over here. Grab my markers. All right, so we have intelligence to send, but we haven't sent the signals yet. We got uh, coordinates for one artillery strike, but we, like it says, they haven't called it in yet. We just got the coordinates there. I guess you got to figure this is the time consuming. This is like minute by minute with all these little attack waves and defensive actions. Time frame might be just a minute on minute. Look at this. It's last. Oh my goodness. I just messed with it anyway just to see how it is. Oh, oh. Yeah, I am anal, but there you go. All right. When we come back, we'll be drawing three more cars. We'll get them right now. One, two, three. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is, like I said, a, not much of a, a table. It's just a little car table. It moves pretty easy. Uh, armchair Dragoons. I am looking forward to it. I've never played much on miniatures. I think we're playing our games on a uh, uh, tabletop simulator, which is fine. And I don't know what's going to happen with the Jutland game. Jutland is so cool. I don't know if this guy's going to set the game up in his house and we're just going to be on Discord and, you know, discuss them. I'm sure he's got it all figured out. Uh, I don't know if I need to get a hold of them and find out if you need to be an experienced gamer in the game. It wasn't a teach and play. It was a game session. So I might be, you know, I don't, I don't want to make anybody mad and get there and, not able to, and be able to play the game. But uh, I don't know how much leeway they have with you and if they're going to teach while you play. But I signed up for Jutland and a Blucher game, or Blucher game, uh, that's a Napoleonics, and I think that's going to be a miniatures game too, but again, I've, I've never played it before, it can't be that hard, I mean, but each, each game session is about three or four hours, so if anybody uh, wants to play, get in on it and let me know you see me on my channel, but uh, the Jutland game, I'm pretty sure it's full, if they only allow four players, and it's kind of a small time convention. I think they maybe might be having maybe a hundred people or so. The uh, ticket price was three dollars. You get get you on any game you want, but don't overdo it. Make sure you can schedule all these. And then uh, the Bleacher game, I think, is another three or four hour game too. So we're gonna have a lot of fun playing that. And you know, virtual, it ain't bad. We'll still have all kinds of fun doing strategies like we're doing here. I got some cleaning up to do. Got greedy with my Tower of Babel, and uh, when we come back. We'll reveal the card. So far, we're doing real good. I don't know if I'm playing this game wrong or what, but we haven't lost anybody. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what these numbers mean on these leaders and shit. We haven't even done anything with those yet, so I guess that just we'll find out when they come on up to us. We'll be back. All right. Doing real good here on Lanzarath. Get to see if it's just, uh, if it's an easy, real easy game or if I'm not playing it right, but here we go. Ready for another card flip. Roll and place. One six-sided die. With a three. That is a rifleman. He's going for area three. That is this path here. He will go up. He will go up and he will go up. So we got a path without a leader for a change. All my other paths have leaders or had leaders. Oh, he's up there. What about the other ones? Yep, there's leaders on almost all paths. This one don't have a leader in it, though. All right, so that is it. Roll in place. We'll take this one. It's done. Next one. Assault. Roll in place. One through six. It's a five. That is another rifleman. So, so far, it's like a Russian human wave attack. It's all we got going on here. Area five. Oh, it's down here. And it is pretty much... Uh, vacant. They all got wiped out by my machine gun, so the leader will go up. And this little boy will come in behind him and say, better you than me. <laughs> it's like a bad area there. But unfortunately, our machine gun has been melted down. And well deserved so. Okay, last card. Alright, roll in place. One through six, and that will be a grenade carrying mofo. Goes for area five. Grab me one of these. Going for area five again. All right. Well, that will move him up. Him up, and we will place him right here. There you go. That is it for this card draw. 
this ain't too bad. This ain't too bad at all. I can get a lot of stuff done here. Let's see what goes on. I mean, they haven't been built up, but hey, we've been, I've been knocking them down. So maybe it's a, uh, give myself a little, oh, pat on the back. All right, let's see here. I'll look this over. We'll be right back. Since we're doing so good, we're going to put another, old Springer's going to exhaust himself. Put us another artillery marker on the Jeep. We can bring in two strikes. Only one, two. He's already got some intelligence going back there. We're going to add him some more intelligence. We want to put, get those little guys in the rear. Updates what's going on. Help out, help out the old, the old cause. All right. That takes care of them. We got three more. Do we want to fight? Or I don't see anybody really to shoot at. Do I need to move anybody? We'll take a pox shot. Roll on one D8. Jenkins. I like we'll exhaust him. Now well, we better hold off on that. <laughs> we'll do it. We might do something, yeah. Oh man, he's exhausted. I don't, don't want to get Buck exhausted. Adams could squeeze off some rounds, but you can't shoot at the guy because he's down there below. So they're down in some ditch and they come up after you. Ah, a little screaming. Bob's eye charge. Oh, wrong front. Let me see. Bouch. All right, we're going to take... Oh, we can't really shoot there. Oh, yeah, we'll shoot. We're going to take old Weebin. Uh, rolling a D6, one D6, and he's gonna try to shoot the old leader, getting ready to go into the ditch or behind our rifleman. We need a four or more, four or more with a D6. Yep, he's just a D6er. Four or more, no good. Put a marker on him. Weebin did not come through, and I think he's exhausted now. Not too good. Oh, you know what? Could be he be inspired? I think he can. That star. We might have, we may have another die roll here. Hold on a second. Be right back. Yeah, I'm correct. Old slope. Can't inspire all defenders except those who have inspired attribute. All right. So he gets to roll one more die. And our old boy, where, what, who are you shooting at? We need a four or more. We rolled a two. He gets to roll another die or another roll. Needing a four or more. No good. All right. Well, that takes care of that. He is now exhausted. All right. We're all good to go. So we try it with another old boy there. Let me make sure I will get his marker on him. We got two more markers left. Oh. Uh, he can inspire anybody. So we can roll another two dice. So we'll do that. We'll use him. He'll roll two dice because he's slow, slaps gonna slap my back head and say, "Aim better, boy." All right, he's coming after the leader. So it's gonna be a four or more. This will be our second shot. It's gonna be a five or more. Rolling two d sixes. Five or more. Rolling two d sixes. Gets it. Yeah, it's a leader is gone back onto the leader pile and the old boy here did what he's supposed to do he was exhausted and used up now for a move what do we do what do we do uh pouch what do we do about pouch he needs nobody to nobody to get him back on his feet adams can though D8, if we got a 7. Uh, Dustman, can you roll by yourself now? That'll get you exhausted. Oh, what are we going to do here? I don't believe we're going to do anything right now. I think that's going to be it. Oh, Jenkins. D8, 4 more. But if they get up on him, he's exhausted. Can't get him back in. Oh, uh, that's gonna be it. Gather my one, two, three, four, and we're not using them all this time. 
Was that a wise move? But I'm pretty sure you can do that. Let me go back and look. Uh, we'll be right back. The rules specify you can take up to five actions, so you ain't got to take them all. That'll be it. We'll draw three more cards. One. Two. And three. All right, first one is up. Place and activate an MG42 in area B. He's already there, so he's firing. That's <laughs> what so we don't like to do. All right, he's going to fire at what area? Oh, place or activate and B. That's where he's at. I guess we roll. One to three, he's shooting area three. Four through six is shooting in area four. Okay, we'll do that. Roll a D6. One. He's shooting in area three. Here you go. Right here. Let's see what we do with the old uh, major action, defense actions, attacker actions. D42. Roll one six sided die to resolve in the case of the defender coming up. If the common position is occupied, roll one six sided die for each defender in a position and compare the result to the defender's valor rating. So we are going for uh, number one. This area number three. He's firing here. His valor rating is a three. Uh, result is equal to or higher than a three. Place a disrupted marker. So roll one die. Three or more. One. Yes. Yes. I kind of love that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. we're good. All right. <laughs> Survived it. We are having some luck here. <laughs> He's lucked out. Mofo. All right, what we got here? Oh, no. It starts. Activate or something on, numbers on C. Who's he firing at? Let's see. He's firing at one. Which is a area five. All right. Now, what does it do here? For each defender. Roll one dice for each defender in the combat position compared to. All right. All right, man. You gotta do all three of them. Roll one, one die. Two or more for the exhausted boy. Looking for a low die roll. All right. Well, he gets a disrupted marker. So he is. Exhausted and disrupted. Two or more. Looking for a low die roll. Oh, he survives. Now for our good old boy. Slap. Six or more. He needs just a six. Four. He doesn't get it. All right. We didn't do too bad on that one. MG42 fired. Got one guy on the. Don't want him to get another one. Oh, here we go. It's a new one. Mortar. Damage times damage and on two. Oh, is that the cheap? Oh, I've got to find out what mortar means. That's our first uh, encounter was this card. We'll be right back. All right, area two is for this mortar. So we're going to roll first for the old fort. Three, are looking for a low die roll. Less than three. He survives. Now we'll roll for our Jeep. We're going to damage that. Anything less than a two. Four. He's damaged. All right. Let me see that there. That is the uh, radio Jeep. Let's roll a six. All right. Flip the vehicle to its damaged side. So let's go over here. Damaged. Oh, just got hit by a mortar. Do I still get to get on my markers or do my markers come off? Let's see what it says. Oh. It was always equal to the vehicle's defense value. Flip the vehicle to the damaged side. Motors do not affect the vehicles that are already damaged. Damaging vehicles has the following effects. Radial Jeep. Now I got to roll a six. Don't have anything to do with three or under. It doesn't say. All right, good old fort survived. There you go. We're getting into some different stuff here, but we have survived that wave. And now we can uh, 
There you go. First wave's done. Second wave done. Cards here. These are what's left. Oh, and I now get my five Axiones. There you go. <laughs> it's hard to look through this camera lens to do this, so um, it looks like I'm not really that dysfunctional. <laughs> All right, let me see what I want to do here. We will be back. All right, with our first one, we're going to do this command. Flip over three exhausted defenders in the same or adjacent command or combat positions that are unexhausted sides. We're not performing with the commanders the C designation. All right, we don't have any Cs, but here you go. We are here. Which ones do we flip? Well, M2 is out of ammo. We will. We will flip this one here. We will flip this one here. We will flip him. He's got an assist marker on there. And we will flip him. This will be our three. That'll take care of his action. I guess he will be exhausted. He got three guys on up, ready to go. All right, next, an assist action. Flip an exhausted defender in the same combat position. The exhausted side may not be performed on attackers with command. All right, how do we get rid of our uh, uh, oh? What do you call it? Uh, disrupted markers. Let's see if the, maybe it's a minor action. Doesn't cause any. Uh, let's get this one here. Deny. Ah, okay, hold on a second. Oh, it's attack period four. In place, in place, and recover. When a front defender is disrupted or disruption and exhausted, the only action to can take is recover. When a defender takes a recovery action, remove. All right, this is a defense action that does not exhaust. Remove the disrupted token from a defender and place it back. All right, when a defender is disrupted or disrupted and exhausted, the only action a defender can take is recover. Takes a recovery action. Okay, that'll work. So he will recover. Take this action. That doesn't exhaust him. Ooh, our defender is disrupted or disrupted and exhausted. The only thing you can do is take a recovery action. Ooh, what is up? Okay, that's it. That's all I can do. Let's take that off. He's still exhausted. Put this back over here. That helps for sure. Oh, you can you can hear when those things fall on that table. Oh, that's a good microphone. Um, that is it. So we got that going on there. Three more actions. We'll be right back. We're gonna take a reload action here from old James. So we're gonna move. It's the M1919. What's an M2? Alright, I can load up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He won't have no more shots after that. But there you go. Old James took the. Oh, where are we at here? Reload action. Up to the. Blah, 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 blah. It's a big reload action. Must be in the same combat position as the weapon counter. He is, and he is done. Two more actions. Be right back. All right, old Buck is going to do a command action. He's a commander. His three will be one, two, and three. That will give him his action that he performed, and he will be exhausted. All right. Now what we need is a guy with an assist marker. <laughs> we don't have that there. So he is exhausted. We'll see what goes on next with our very last one. We want to use it or not. We'll see. Be right back. All right, last action. We're gonna go over here, and we'll put it on. It don't matter, Preston. But he is going to take his M1918 and load. He can only put two more in there, so he's got his last last rounds in there. That'll take care of my five actions. One, two, three, four. And five. All right. 
Let's take a little break here before we draw. Well, we'll draw three cards and we'll reveal them when we come back for the next session. One. Two. Oops, I seen that one. And three. All right, we'll be back. All right, here is my armchair dragoons convention itinerary and i'm gonna have a packed three days <laughs> if i can get into some stuff before between all these uh scheduled scheduled events i'll try to because i got some really good game sessions or rather uh seminars i didn't sign up for as many seminars as i did the game but i did want to uh, maybe go over to Discord because I think a lot of these things are using Discord. I've used it before and I'm pretty familiar, but you never know. But uh, yeah, that is my itinerary for the weekend of January 13th through the 15th. And I will be busy. Maybe I'll see somebody there. We'll be back. Okay, well, it's been a while since I've sat down in old Landsrath. And uh, we're still on Attack Wave 2, but we are surviving. And uh, we're getting down to the bottom of it. We got three cards to reveal. And uh, enjoying the heck out of this game. Uh, oh, looking forward to that uh, armchair dragoons convention that's coming on up. And uh, I'm not sure if the uh, things I signed up for were, you know, more of a teaching how to play the game or a teach and play. I'd rather be a teaching play. I'd rather, you know, learn it as we go along and somebody sit there and, you know, tell us what to do and have an actual game. But my, some of them I'm thinking maybe just uh, teaching sessions. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Next weekend, I'm going to be busy. A busy time on a computer at a virtual convention. We'll see how that works out. Uh, but, like, I... Uh, Noticed earlier, I said mentioned it in one of my past videos, my uh, mini market up the road, or not really up the road, it's about a 20 minute, half an hour ride, uh, has a gaming room, and I think they've been playing a bunch of games. I need to get up there and check that out on my time off. I have been busy. Uh, I'm above my head on some of these games, <laughs> but uh, we've been playing, taking breaks. You know, you can't play games all the time. You always got to give it a little bit of a break. That's what I'm thinking about uh, on some of those uh Conventions. I've never been to conventions, so and here I can always walk away from the table, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, and you know, when you get a little bit, when your head gets a little bit tired of it, and I don't have to see what, what happens on those. Although if you keep it, if you keep it uh, competitive and interesting, you can stick around for a while. I'm sure people take breaks, but let's go ahead with this. Lands of Wrath, MG42. We were afraid of that. All right, let me see here. Place. Or activate an A. A is already there, so he will fire. We will take our one six-sided die. Find out who the unlucky area is, and it's a six. So area A is firing at area six. Ooh, all the way down here? Wow. Oh, let me see. We got a six. Let's look back on here and see if we're doing this right. No, nope, area two. Yeah, it's more like it. All right, so he's firing at area two. Oh, what do we do here now? Oh, defense phase, defense attacker phase. MG42, activate the counter. Roll six out of dice. The result indicates the defender combat position to be targeted. We did that if the combat position is occupied. Roll one six out of dice for each defender in the combat. If the result is equal to or higher, then they get uh, uh, dispersed or disrupted. So, fire it. Little Adams and uh, Germans looking for a three or higher. Oh, he gets it. Oh, if the result is equal to or higher. That is it. So he will get himself a disrupted marker. I don't know if that, what else does that do? All right. Place a disrupted token on offender. That's all. Okay, well, there you go. Next. Another all. Awesome. MG42 time. You can tell we should have did last turn. Place or activate an A again. This guy's barrel's getting hot. Let's see who he wants to shoot as he's trying to finish off. What's his name? With a three. One to three. He's going for area one. Oh, that's back over here. All right. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. I see here. Place or activate A. Oh, ha, ha, ha. We're doing it wrong. And he is the only 
MG42 counter left. So there you go, they're placing all their MG42s here now on this turn. All right, well he placed, he didn't activate, so here we go. Last one is an assault card. Place an assault troop in area one. Ooh, let's get this. And that will be uh, going for spot number one, which is right up here. He'll be down here along this way. Moving on up. That will be it for their three cards. We survived that one. Uh, when we come back, we will do a activation. And it's been a while. I've been playing this game, but it's been a while since so I posted the video. So we've been playing this for a few days, but I've just been busy on everything else. So we're going to do these four activations. And we'll call it a video because it's getting kind of long. But we're having a great time. Having a great time here playing in the gaming season. Uh, I've got some chores outside to do, and the weather's clearing up. I might have to do that, but it's still morning time. We're not going to have me a morning game session here before I have to make breakfast for me and the dog. Dog loves it when daddy's home. <laughs> he gets his pancakes, bacon, egg, sausage. All right, let me check out what I want to do in response. We got some boys exhausted here. Be right back. Uh, these MG42s are definitely a priority. I don't see anybody really knocking at the doors, get close to our positions. So I think it's the first uh, activation. We're going to activate our old machine gunner Preston. And he is going to use the M1918. I just looked up here because some of these aren't loaded. But he's loaded. He'll be out of ammo after that. But he can squeeze off two shots. We're going to go for this uh, A unit here. Uh, and then we will have to get us a 7 or greater. But he's going to be rolling. Oh, two D10s. So let's get our D6 over here. Grab us two D10s. All right, now the thing of it is, he's only rolling one D10, but he's got Dustman inspired him. So that gives him another, another die for that inspiration. So we'll be rolling. Let me see this uh, defensive phase. Oh, it does not exhaust. It does exhaust. And these little cards here definitely come in handy. Oh, well, they did until they all drop down. But oh, adjust fire. Spend ammunition token. Uh, weapons combat value die compared to result of the attacker's defense value. After completing your first attack. We had a one. We know about all that. Um, now, let me see here. I can roll two dice. And uh, do I want to shoot another target, though? We need a seven or above. Oh, I could roll two dice and use up two clips. Or I could use one die and get his inspiration. If I want to use his inspiration and the clips, I'll roll three. How bad do I want that spot? Do I want to save some rounds or save a round? Yeah, we'll just use one clip. So we'll put this right here. Oh, that ain't going to work. All right, we'll use one clip, one die, and we will use the inspiration from old Dustman to make a two die. All right, we need to beat a seven or above. We get it. He is removed. All right. Now... Oh, what do we need to do? Oh, he squeezed off around. He's all right now. We're gonna take another shot. We're gonna add one to it. So we're gonna go for this machine gun here. Now we need an eight or above. We'll get our one die. It's our last clip. Our last clip here. And we'll add a die for Testament's inspiration. Looking for eight or above with two die. Oh yeah, we get it. So another MG42 is out. All right, we will exhaust him. And he is done. All right, we got our money's worth out of that one. There you go. Look over and see we're on the battle. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, I'm sure it gets more intense uh, in the last two waves. But, uh, we might have to see what they do with these tactic cards to make this a little bit harder because this is pretty, this is going around pretty easy. 
but uh, it's just, like I said, just a basic game. But maybe historically that's the way it went. They said they did human wave attacks up uh, up the center uh, in the notes, game notes. And then finally, I guess they decided to push along the flanks towards the end. But we got them coming on. We have, uh, let me see here. Did I use, that was just my first one. Oh, shoot. I got all kinds of defensive actions left. All right, we'll be back. All right, with one of our tokens, it's going to be radio intelligence time. So we will take our little action thing here, an old fort, our radio intelligence officer, that R.I. there. Now I get to roll the dice three times because I'm going to spend three of my tokens here to radio some intelligence in if we can get it going on. Hold on a second. Was that thing damaged? Or did I just flip it on over? Oh, All right, well, unfortunately, he's been hit by a mortar. So the radio ain't working that good. We get three rolls with a six-sided die. And, uh, oops. Let's see, ten. Ten. Eight, eight. One roll with a six-sided die, and we need sixes. We get three tries. Two, nope. Two, nope. Six, yes. All right, we get to move that intelligence counter up one to one. So that, I thought that was going to be fertile. But uh, our futile, futile, and uh, but it wasn't. So here you go. We used him. And uh, he is exhausted. Damage cheap, but we did get some intelligence out there. All right, let me straighten up the house here. I'll be right back. All right, able to radio the rear and tell them what is going on up here. Only one on the intelligence. So far, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, what do we want to do next? I think we want to call in some artillery, but uh, I want to use James to squeeze off some rounds. That M2 has a bunch of ammo loaded onto it. The only one that's out of ammo is the M1919. I think that one's broke anyway, isn't it? Yeah, we overheated him. <laughs> Who was our other machine gunner? Omolochevic. Melton, his machine gun is out of play. So, James will be shooting an M2. He's got a 12-sided dicer there. We'll go after this machine gun. That'll be a seven we need with a one die. We have a bunch of clips. We'll roll. Oh. Oh. Many weapon combat value dice. Spending ammunition tokens from the weapons loaded ammo. Then roll that many. We'll roll three. We'll roll three. All right. Then we got to roll for overheat. But we're rolling three. D12s. 3 D12s. Because we're spending three clips. So my D12s over here. 3 D12s. We're at a D6. And we're aiming for a 7 or more. Oh, we got it. We got it. He's gone. Alright. Now I gotta roll one die. Uh, what do I do for overheat? Uh, after complete attack, you make additional attacks, blah, blah, blah. After each attack, after first, the attacker counter see the one, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we gotta look for overheat. I think we just, let's just roll one die, look for a one. Oh, <laughs> we're good. All right, anything over three shots. So there you go. Oops. All right, put these three shots back. We are doing good on eliminate. I think we eliminated all the empty folk. We got one here. Well, there you go. Good work, James. He has slipped over to his exhausted side. He has an M2. Oh, where is it? He's got a, oh, did we take the wrong one out of there? Yeah, we sure did. Where did that come out of? Uh, M1919, is that the one that was destroyed? Yeah, maybe it was. Uh, let me look and see and reclaim the All right. Put him back, took him off with a gun that has been melted, so we will take three off of the right gun. The M2 that we used. We'll be placing him back. 
All right, two more activations left. Our 12-sided die. Uh, where are we at here? Mr. 12. Mr. 12. Oh. Mr. 12. How do I get him up on top? There you go. And Mr. 12. Eight or is these tens? Oh, these are all tens. Tens, tens. So oh, get that eight out of there. And then these are eights. There we go. My anal <laughs> dice set up. What can I say? Oh, we got one eight. Where I there you go. Gotta get it all uniformed. All right, what are we going here? Put these things here on back. Whoa, good luck on that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Don't touch the table. All right. What are we at here? I want to call on artillery. We have mowed down most of their machine gunners with some killer fire. We are doing really good in this game. Um, actions, actions, actions. Who's getting close? He's getting kind of close. Oh, do we want to get somebody unexhausted, though? An assistant marker, commander. Uh, what do we want to do here? Huh, let me look at this. We are back. We use this action to uh, old Weebin. He's going to turn and be exhausted because he is going to flip over the commander and help him up. So he'll be good to go. All right, with our last action, we'll be calling in some artillery. That'll be exhaust old Springer. Put him on here. Then we get to see what goes on here. The major actions, radio artillery. Just discard all the radio tokens from the artillery jeep to the supply for each radio token discarded. Roll one six-sided die. So at least one die roll is five or six. Discard three cards. So we'll do that. Here's we'll take two of these. Roll one six-sided die. So we need a five or six. Ah! Whoa! Now for our second shot. Get rid of that dice. Five. All right, our tar artillery strike has hit. So we get to go over here to this top thing and go one, two, three. That'll do it. Still got a bunch of them in there, but that takes away a bunch of them. All right, we are going to call this a video. And if and when we come back, We'll be playing some more attacker cards, but till then, we are doing good. Put these on back. Get artillery strike. Nobody really threatening. We'll have to pull three of their cards, though. But after that, let's go ahead and uh, get these markers. One, two, three. One on the radio, two radio actions this time. Two, three, four, and our last action over here. All right, enjoying some good play. Get ready to jump on over to the Central America table. We got a, a uh, oh, allied, it's my turn, to uh, uh, pull up. Well, San Denise has had their turn. We're probably ready to uh, do the first move on my side. See how I can, uh, oh, give me some victory points. I got insurgents to place and everything else. We're getting all excited about that. I'm yet to hear from my opponent, though. I mean, we're ready to play. It's been a while. Well, maybe, you know, it takes a while. We'll see. We'll give them a few more days. It'd really be a shame if that turned out to be a solo game. And uh, I got a bad feeling about that. <laughs> we'll be back.